Today I'm showing you how to make these nice can cozies and you just simply slip your can inside. What I've done in the past is um, I've also sprayed a can with um, rust proof spray spray paint you can get for a uh, Walmart for like a couple of dollars or so and um, you know just to help the can from um, rusting but these right here actually hides the ugliness of the silver can aren't they cute so come join me today on how to create your own can cozies cover I'm using a Red Heart Super Saver yarn and this is like um, flame. It's like a real neon orange color. You're going to need scissors. My dog did that. And of course you're going to need your recycled can. This is just a, um, a dog a dog food can. And um, of course a crochet hook I'm using a 4.0 but you can use whatever size you want and okay let's begin begin um, this pattern with a slip knot going to chain five form a circle by creating a slip stitch and now we're going to do 14 double crochet inside the circle chain 2 for the first double crochet and inside the circle and we're going to do 14 double crochet so that's 2 because chain 2 counts as a double crochet 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just unravel my yarn here. Nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. And now we're going to complete the circle by slip stitch in on the um, first double crochet on this row. There you go. There's your first, I mean, there's your um, 14 double crochet. Now um, we're going to increase the circle by um, doing two double crochet in each stitch. So chain three for the first double crochet and double crochet in the first stitch and again on the same stitch. So we're going to again um, insert two double crochet in, it, in each um, stitch and I will see you at the end okay I'm at the um, end of the second row I'm going to slip stitch on the second chain and there you go completion of second row now third row we're going to chain chain one and double crochet I mean, I'm sorry single crochet on the first stitch and another single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and double crochet on the on the third stitch so the pattern is single crochet and then another single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet on the third stitch so single crochet 
in a single crochet and double and two double single crochet on the third stitch. So every third stitch we're going to increase. Okay, and I, will I am now at the end of this row of my third row, and I'm just going to slip stitch here on on that chain one. Okay, there you go. And now I'm going to double crochet in each um, stitch. So my first stitch is three three chain, and now I'm going to double crochet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the back stitch. See right here on the back stitch. Now you can just go ahead and um, double crochet in, in each stitch if you like but um, I'm going to work in the back stitch so there it is double crochet and I'm just going to do double crochet in um, in every single one of the stitch until I complete this row. Okay I will see you at the end Okay, um, I'm at the end of my um, fourth row here. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm at the end of my fourth row, and I'm going to do my last double crochet. I'm still working on the back stitch, and now to complete my row, I'm going to slip stitch on the second chain. There you go. And now we begin on the fifth row our ripple texture um, stitch. So we're going to chain two. So you're going to yarn over, sorry, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook and around the post of the next stitch, of the next double crochet. Let me show you that again. Yarn over, insert your hook in and around the post. And then you're going to yarn over and pull it through the post here. So now you have three um, loops on your hook and you're going to triple crochet. Not treble crochet but triple crochet. And the way you triple crochet is yarn over and pull through first loop and then yarn over again and pull through two loops and yarn over again pull through both loops. And then the next stitch is a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now again, we're going to do a front pose. Yarn over and yarn over. So you have three loops. Now we're going to triple crochet. Yarn over, pull through first loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops. And double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, let's do another front pose triple crochet. Yarn over and around the pose. Yarn over and pull through the loop. I mean pull through the pose. So that leaves you with three loops on your other hook. And triple crochet by one loop, two loops, and two loops again. And then double crochet. Again, yarn over, front pose stitch, triple stitch, I mean triple crochet. Again, now we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. So we're just going to keep doing that until we um, get to the end of the row. So it's a double crochet and a front pose stitch. A double crochet and a front pose. And we'll continue that pattern until we get into the end of this row. I'm at the end of my row here and I'm going to do my last um, front pose stitch, front pose triple crochet. So I yarn over, insert my hook in and behind the pose here and I pull through and now I'm going to triple crochet and I'm going to slip stitch now 
on the second chain in the beginning of the row and there it is now as you can see the ripple stitch is has taken effect and um and this is what you get for working on the back pose I mean on the back stitch I like that so I mean you can really see that when when you um insert your can so this pattern will fit like your standard um, vegetable can or you know, 16 ounce can okay so we're going to repeat um, oh okay um, so now we're going to do the next row so we're going to chain two and because this is a front post stitch we're going to double crochet on on it and because this is a double crochet we're going to front post triple crochet see pulls run the ravel somewhere on my yarn so what you're doing is double crochet on each pose and and um, front pose triple crochet and each double crochet so to, to create that alternating um, pattern like so see okay so we're going to double crochet on this front pose and then we're going to front pose on uh, triple crochet on this double crochet stitch again double crochet front pose double crochet front pose so repeat this step until you get into the height that you want in this case I'm going to repeat it six times so I'm gonna need six rows um, of this to get the height that I want for my can and which usually I will stop right here and then I will um, create a row of single crochet for for the for the lid frame okay so I'm going to continue my double crochet and triple crochet front pose and I will see you at um at my uh, just height okay so um I'm at the last row of my um ripple stitch pattern and it's about almost four inches three and three quarters and let's see how it fits this is my can so it's like almost to the rim but it's okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the three rows of single crochet like so like this right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna keep it on my um, orange and okay so we'll begin the row by chain one and single crochet in the next stitch and continue to single crochet in the following stitches okay now um, I'm going to continue to crochet, single crochet, and I will see you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of um, the row, and I'm going to slip stitch to complete this row. And I'm just slip stitching on the chain one in the beginning of the row. Okay, that completes the first row of single crochet. Now I'm going to do two more to complete this pattern. So again, you just chain one and single crochet in the next stitch and in the next till you till you reach 
the end of the row so we'll do that and then what I'm going to do is do also another row of single crochet so I will see you uh, at the end okay I'm at the end of my pattern here so I'm going to crochet my last single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to complete the pattern and I'm slip stitching in a in a chain one that we did okay and that's it so I'm gonna cut my yarn and um, now I'm just gonna pull the remaining yarn all the way through the loop and I will stop it from unraveling and then I'm just gonna secure this end of the yarn here at the on the inside which I usually use um oops I think my my hook is too big but I usually use a blunt needle to do this but since I don't have can't find my needle I'm just using my crochet hook and I'm just stitching it inside the pattern here and this will help you know from your yarn from uh, unraveling so there you go here's your can cozy and that's the bottom see how it looks what I've done in the past also is I spray painted my can so it doesn't um, rust so easily you know they have those spray paint that prevents it from rusting okay and there you go it's your can cozy hope you enjoy and if you like the tutorial in this video subscribe or press the like buttons and visit my blog which I have a link to my blog um, at the um, in a video description and let me know if you guys have any suggestions comments or questions thank you